Yeah, I'm so excited to have you again watching the, uh, us on this channel today. And I say, welcome back. And thank you for stopping by. Our old subscribers, we appreciate you. And our new subscribers, we say welcome. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do. It's only a click away from where you are. Press the red button. Just press the red button. And God bless you as you do. This video is meant to give you the calculated, expected, or potential revenue that you can generate doing snail farming. However, this uh, selecting your snails is also very, very important before you start rearing. And that's what will be able to give you the, 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 the targeted revenue, the targeted wealth that you want to achieve doing your snail farming. So, for the physical feature that I want to show you, let's go. So, we have to enter the snail farm to bring out some snails from their hiding. Okay. Ah. Here is their hiding now. I will, go, I will bring out some of them now. Now, I want to show you something about these snails. Obviously, these two are younger than this, this one. This is an older one, this is another one, and they are, this one is about two years old now. Why this one is about eight months eight months old so now this one is about six months old now you see this uh, this snail you can see that the shell is uh, I mean it looks very old basically it's not because of the old age you understand where I kept them before before I created this natural uh, near natural environment for them to try was not really conducive for them. Like the brick surround, we made brick round and we covered the top. So with uh, something that uh, cover everything that would not give them space. The place usually get warm anytime I wanted to enter that time. So to go back to some uh, setback then. So that is why I decided to make the natural environment for them to try and since then we have been able to achieve uh, a better result you can see these ones are brighter you can see this one uh, not as bright though the quality of the snail still remain anyway so now if you want to select your snail you know forget about the big names that people call is that okay those big names to me they are just the the language of the people who call it it's just like if I use my own language from where I come from, the Yoruba nation, we say uh, Igbingidi. This is what we call Igbingidi. So if I now use that name to tell you to go and be looking for Igbingidi, how many of you, my international viewers, can uh, uh, find that? How many people you tell that way? So 
Let's just go by physical feature to identify the two snails. Now, when you pick a snail, you look at this side. You know, go just go to anywhere, either in the bush or anywhere. I will still show you how to trap snail. Don't worry, you keep watching this uh, channel. A lot has still come. Okay, I will still show you how to trap snail. Practically, we are going to trap them in the bush, and then people will tell you a lot of story about snails, but those things are not real. Just look for any snail that is big that you like the size, like this one. Okay, then get them. Either you buy them, or you or you get them from the bush, and you and you start rearing them. Is that okay? You can identify the young ones of this when they are young. You can also stalk them when they are young. He can identify them. I will still show you some of them. Don't worry. You know, just keep watching this channel, okay? I will still show you how they move around. The time they move around. I think that will be the next video, okay? So what I'm showing you right now is the fisher. There are some snails that are they will be big, they will be big like uh, like half of this. Not even up to half of this. You know, like uh, half of this. I don't want them to break the thing. Like half of this. Huh? So, those ones, by the time you see them when they are younger, they will look like they will be big, but it's not real. They are not really getting big, okay? When they get to the half of this, then they remain in the other size. So, in essence, when you see snails, you want to stalk your snail, just select them by physical feature, then you will have the best results so far. So, we continue into our calculation. So now, I want to show us today something very important about snail farm. Uh, I want to show us how lucrative snail farming can be. The potential income you can generate doing snail farming business. So that's the essence of this uh, video. That's the essence of this video. So keep watching. Now let's head on straight into our calculator. To our calculator. Now here, here, I just want to assume that you want to start your snail with 50 snails. Let's assume you start in 2023 with uh, 50 snails. So now, and the research tells us that snails lay um six times in a year in a season and uh, also by our own personal experience snail may live between seven to eight eggs uh, uh, at a time so now but let's work with five times an average of five times per snail in a in, in a year and uh, seven eggs in each lay cycle. Now let's go to our calculator now. Let's say you start with 50 snails in 2023. Let's say you start with 50 snails in 2023. So it lays uh, seven eggs at a time. Each each lays seven eggs at a time times seven. Then then uh, 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 five times times five times five it means that at a time your snail will lay uh, all your 50 snails throughout the year they are going to give you 1750 young snails but don't let us still work with this maximum number let's assume that six, i mean 70 percent of this survive till maturity till you are able to sell them whatever happens along the line don't bother about that but let's say 70 percent of this survive at a uh, i mean at the maturity till you are able to sell them if you might have if you can lay it then you, let, you decide to, to sell them so that is times 0 0.5 i mean 0 0.7 0.7 that's 70 percent of them now it means that you have new snails 1225 new snails at the end of year 2023 
at the end of the year 2023, you have additional 1,225 snails. Now, uh, in the following year, that's 2024 now, all this, all this 1,222 couldn't have matured to lay, except the one that are laid earlier. They, 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 are, they can be mature by the end of that year. But don't let us even work with that. Let's assume that these ones will not be mature because the maturation of uh, of, of snails is between uh, uh, one year to one and a half years. Between one year to one, and that's twelve to eighteen months. That's when the clock, the maturity, I mean maturity stage. Now let's just do the calculation like this. Let's assume all this one could not lay at all in 2024. Let's now say they are able to lay in 2025. But still, in 2024, this is your snail, your 50 snail also still performing. Uh, we still give you 1,225 as well, going by our previous calculation. So it tells us that at the end of 2024, you have this times 2, 1,225 times 2 by the end of 2024. We got a point, so it means that you have 2,450 new snails. No, but now, for I me mean, going forward now into 2025, going forward now into 2025, and now let me tell you something. This, this, uh, this, uh, the, the one they are ashed. The new one that joined in 2024 couldn't have matured to lay in 2025. But the ones that were laid in 20, that I mean that were ashed in 2023, could have, I mean, could have matured to lay in 2025. Now, let's now say, okay, in 2025, you have 1,000 to produce for you in your, in your farm. You have 1,000. Five times remember the number of eggs that we are working with seven eggs seven eggs so times seven then times the number of time they should be six times but let's work with uh, five times so which me equal to 42,000 42,000 two hundred and I mean for two thousand eight hundred and seventy five that's what they should lay for you no I mean the, the, the new one that should join that's uh, in 2025 in 2025 this is what oh yeah this is what you should get in 2025 now let's see work with the the seventy percent survivor. Let's assume seventy percent of them will survive till uh, you, you you are able, you are able to sell them. Then that's times zero point seven. That's seventy percent of it. So giving you thirty thousand and twelve. Approximately thirty thousand and twelve. Uh, young, uh, I mean new ones that will be added to your stock in uh, 20, at the end of 2025, at the end of 2025, so you should have 30,000, you should have 30,012 new snails. Are you following me now you proceed further now by the year 2026 never have not talked about selling at this point now 
I've not talked about selling at this point now. But by year 2026. No, wait, let, let, let me show you this first. At the end of that year 2025, you already had 2000, 2450 plus 30,012. Let's add it together. By the end of the year 2025, plus 2,450. You understand? So it gives us 32,462 snails that you should have had by the end of 2025. You should have had had this particular number as 32,000 uh, 32,462 uh, uh, snails as your stock inside that your uh, snail farm. Now, I mean, going forward now, in year 2026, uh, now, the number of of, 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 uh, of snails that be able to lay your farm will be the two previous years of 2023 and 2024. Remember this one, the ones that were ash, this one that we expect to survive in 2025 couldn't have matured to lay in 2026. So it is this one, 2450, that we expect to be able to have matured to lay in 2026. So that's 2,000, 2,000, 450 times 7, number of X, then times 5. So it tells us that you are expected to, uh, the, 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 the young one that should join should be 85,750 young uh, snails. Young snails that should join. However, let's say 70% of this also survive. 70% of this also survive. That's 0.7 of it survive. So it means that potentially you have 60,025 snails. Surviving in your in, in your farm, you know, are the new ones that will be, be joined at the end of 2026. So by the time 2026 ends now, plus your old stock, everything you had before, which was this 32,000, 32,000. 462. Let's add it here to plus this is what your stock should have reached at the end of year 2026 plus 32,462. So equals 92,487. 487. That's what your pump should have breached at the end of year 2020. I mean, I mean, 2026. You understand? As soon as you started with 50 snails at the beginning of year 2023. So by year 2026, at the end, your total stock should have increased to nothing less than 92,487 snails. You got my point. Now, let's go for, let's take a step further. In uh, 2027, in 2027, you know, uh, or the, 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 uh, uh, the one that were ash in 20. 26 couldn't have matured to lay, but the one that was in 2025 up 
should have have matured to lay, which is 30,012 snails, approximately 30,012 snails. Now let's let's see what 30, you know, 30,000 and 12 times number of times number of eggs then times number of time that's one million fifty thousand four hundred and twenty new snails should have been added to your stock you see that's amazing that's wonderful that's wonderful however don't forget we are not working with the maximum uh, production expected we are working with 70 percent of them surviving till maturity so this go for times 0.7 that's 70% of them. 0.7 times 0.7 equals 753, I mean 735,294. That's what you should, uh, 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 should that, that should have added up into your uh, uh, your stock, your snail stock. Oh, then going by this now at the end of that year 20 uh 27 now then it means that you are expected to have uh, add your snails uh adding up uh, from uh, the, your stock in, in year 2026 plus uh, the one you are having in year uh, uh, 2027. 20, so when you add them up, then you have so here. This is the one for year 20. Six. This is year 2026 production. 60,025. If you add it to this plus 60,025. See? It means that your store should have reached 795,000. 319 snails that you should have been able to house in your pen. Now, let me now tell you the selling aspect. I will show you the, the features in the, in, the, in the next video. I'm going to show you how do you know that this snail is uh, as, uh, as finished growing. I'm going to show you the features in the next uh, video. That this one is just for you to know where the potential income that you can generate doing snail farming. Now, you see here, we should understand something that the ones that were laid in year 2026, you cannot have them to sell in year 2027. But the ones that were laid in year 2025, up to year 2025, they will be ready for you, you know, to, to sell. They will be ready for you to sell by the year 2027. So that's when we, were, uh, we say you had uh, this figure then, 30,012, 30,012, 30,012. Now for your project of four years altogether, you, you have the capacity of making this figure times the price of each snail. Now let's go to this 30,000. 30,000. 
30,000 and 12. 30,012. So you just multiply it by one dollar at the average price that uh, that is being sold here is around one dollar per snail around one dollar one point two dollars then let's work with one dollar per snail so now if you have one dollar per snail so times one obviously is uh, thirty thousand and uh, twelve dollars by project of four years then your sale now is able to generate this for you you know is that that's very very wonderful that's very very cool that's a very cool business it's a very cool business that you should think of venturing into if you have not been thinking about that before but i want to tell you that there are things that may want to hinder you from really achieving this uh, calculated expected revenue now in the subsequent videos we are going to reveal all these things. Just keep watching this channel because we are really ready to, to, to give you the best and to make sure that you succeed in any venture that we, we, are, we have decided to take you through. Okay? So, keep watching this channel. Now, the summary of all this that, you have to, that I've shown you, that I've done for you, in the following table so see the following table as i show you there okay you see it here uh yeah 2023 that's the suppose you start in the beginning of year 2023 the year can be replaced any any year you start okay so now you have 50 snails the number of eggs as well with the uh, minimum not the maximum Lower uh, number, then the number of times, then with the lower number, then the new expected ash, the new uh, snails that should be added in year 2023, then uh, the survivor till maturity, so by 70% of this. So also in year 2024, you see the same thing. So, at the end of year 2024, you are expected to have this. In year 2025, so this one, you be able to, to lay. Then, arch this number of times, then this number of, this number of X, this number of times, then this new addition were expected. However, 70% of this new addition is this. So, at the end of 2025, you are expected to have this on your farm. Then, we'll go to 2026. Now these two, these two, the addition of these two, which is this, you'll be able to lay. Let's assume that you have even done whatever you wish with your first 50 that you started with. Let's assume you have done away with that. So uh, you, let's assume these 2,450 are the ones that are now reproducing themselves on your farm. So now this one times seven, uh, number of x times number of times, then gives you this. Then 70% of this gives you this. Then at the end of year uh, 2026, you have this to this, so you have this result. You understand? So in 2027, also similar thing. The reason why I did not add what you should have is that by 2027, you're supposed to have started selling. You're supposed to have started selling. You start in the uh, year 2023. Although you have to be patient, that's all that matters. Now, what you have seen from this is that snake business actually is not a get rich. Uh, is it, I mean, it's not a get a rich quick uh, a project. You understand? But it has potential of making you rich. You understand? Or meeting your needs. You understand? With time, you no, know, it takes time. You have to be patient with it because if you start eating or the uh, uh, selling. When you are not supposed to have started selling, then you are not going to have uh, the results as quickly as uh, as possible. 
But if you can be patient till this time, as I've calculated, you know, along the line, you could have eaten maybe like 100 of them. That's not a problem. The dream is will not still affect your result. Given all those uh, allowances that I've put in my calculation in the earlier stage, you know, working with 70%, working with the number of eggs and reduce the number of times, all those things, whatever you eat along the line, but don't be on a hurry to sell your snails. You got my point? Don't be on a hurry to sell your snails. Just keep feeding them. In my next video, I'm going to show you the things, the simple things that we used to, to feed them then you know in my previous video also i think i show you some of the things i mentioned some of the things that we usually give to our snails just to create a, a, a natural environment for them very close to their abode so i hope this video is very interesting to you if you find it very interesting please don't for, forget if you have not subscribed don't forget to subscribe please then no set up or your, your notification uh, uh, bell so that you'll be notified as soon as we upload the next uh, video and also don't forget to like this video share it so let it go as far i mean as far wide as possible and the lord will bless you so thank you and see you in the next video